Breaking news, Nigerians. President Bola Metinubu is in trouble. Hours after Chicago State University released his credentials, Senate issued strong warning to him reject his loan request. This is getting interesting. The Nigerian Senate issued a stern warning to President Bola Tinubu consigning potential illegal spending on his com compressed natural gas CNG initiative. The, the Senate Committee on Gas, led by Senator Jarigbe, Jarigbe, emphasized the necessity for the executive arm of the government to promptly present a 2023 supplementary budget to the National Assembly to initiate the compressed natural gas project. This demand from the Senate comes barely 48 hours after President Bola Tinubu announced a series of measures amid of mitigating the efforts of the fuel subsidy remover on the Nigerian populace while commending President Tinubu for his forward thinking, the CJN initiative, the lawmaker stressed the importance of adhering to the law which strictly prohibits extra budgetary spending. Senator Jaribe, the chairman of the committee, converged his appreciation for the CJN project recognizing its potential to alleviate the hardship fixed by Nigerian citizens. However, he cautioned against using taxpayers' money or any other funds without prior approval from the National Assembly for this initiative and other projects within the gas value chain. The senators also argued against extra budgetary expenditure through ways and means, asserting that the legislature was fully prepared to support and provide relief to the people. Senator Jerry B. Jerry B. emphasized the need for President Tinubu to propose a supplementary budget to secure funding for various aspects of the gas value chain, including the provision of CNG infrastructure and CNG vehicles. Furthermore, Jaribe pointed out that the workshops and training programs essential for the successful abduction of CNG technology would also require funding. He emphasized that any attempt at extra budgetary spending would be inconsistent with the provisions of the law. Senator Jaribe underscored the Senate's commitment to supporting President Tinubu's ambitious program, particularly in the realm of energy, he suggested that a 2023 supplementary budget would be the most ap appreciated approach, or uh, appropriate approach, please pardon me, as opposed to the contentious ways and means approach used by the previous administration, which had created disputes within the Central Bank of Nigeria. In his recent Independence Day speech, President Tinubu reassured the nation of his commitment to elevating the hardship first faced by Nigerians. He expressed his vision for a Nigerian where hunger, poverty, and hardship would become distant memories. President Tinubu's CNG initiative is a pivotal part of his vision with the deployment of, deployment of cost effective and safer CNG buses across the nation, set to positively impart transport fares. Additionally, plans are underway to introduce new CJN con conversation kits, which will further reduce transportation costs. The president also announced the establishment of training facilities and workshops across the nation designed to equip transport operators and entrepreneurs with new opportunities. Okay, let's see how it goes. This is how they will tell us. Last, last, you will see that 
the the Senate they will approve they will they will approve the loan. Nigeria is finished. You understand? At the end of the day, all these things they are telling us right now, you will be surprised that they will still approve the same loan. Not be today now. We don't they see all these things? Not be today. But let's just see how it goes. Uh-huh. Let's just see how this will go. If last last they are going to you know approve this loan or they are going to still stand by the rest that President Bola Metinubo is spending so much. And one will be wondering the same president, the same president that said he's going to you know cut down so many things. You understand? The same president that said he's going to cut down so many things. Now he he he, he get the, the highest cabinet so far. And he's still appoint, he's still appointing. And we are saying that the, the the country is really shaking. Talking about the economy and all that, looking for how to minimize everything. You employ people, you employ plenty of people, you don't have employ plenty of people. Now we say the same. In Nigerian, this thing they go to see, they use it, they pay them. We are not just truthful to ourselves. I don't see and say anybody, all these people, when they say so, they are just coming from their own, from, for their own, not just for the benefit of the country. And this is what is killing this country. Like as I said, let's watch and see if they will hold this, the award that President uh, Muhammad Buhari should, I beg, making it come down. Spending so much, they are want they are warned them concerning the potential legal spending. Okay, they say it don't they too spend make it calm down because the country is in a in a red flag. You understand sign. So guys, let's hear from you on this. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel.